peaceful uh, solitude and isolation can of itself become a problem. Not for me. How about your wife and son? How do you think they'll take to it? They'll love it. Great. Well, before I turn you over to Bill, there's one other thing I think uh, we should talk about. I, I don't want to sound melodramatic, but it's something that's been known to give a few people second thoughts about. I don't believe they did. Well, uh, my predecessor, he came up here with his wife and two little girls. And from what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. I thought that it was what the old timers used to call cabin fever kind of claustrophobic reaction which can occur when people are shut in together over long periods of time. Well, that is uh, quite a story. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, it's still hard for me to believe it actually happened here. But it did. And uh, I think you can appreciate why I wanted to tell you about it. I certainly can, and uh, I also understand why your people well, left it for you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where happens so much. Well, you can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me. And uh, as far as my wife is concerned, uh, I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her about it. She's a... Uh, confirmed ghost story and horror film addict. You slip me a bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. You can do that, can't you, Lloyd? You're not too busy, are you? <laughs> no, sir. I'm not busy at all. Good man. You set him up, and I'll knock him back, Lloyd, one by one. Your credit's fine, Mr. Thomas. Midnight 
with the stars and you.